Hi everyone, I'm Anouk Heatherason, fertility physician and doctor mom, and here to educate on fertility. In this video, we'll be talking about OPKs, or ovulation predictor kits. I often get the question, when to use it in the cycle, or what time of day to use them. So let's talk about this today. <music> Why is ovulation important? Ovulation is the release of the egg. The egg needs to release from the follicle in the ovary, and then it will travel down the fallopian tube. If intercourse happens around the same time, the egg and sperm will meet in the fallopian tube, and that's how a pregnancy results. So it's important to track ovulation to know when you're ovulating so you know when to have intercourse. So that will help you maximize your chances of success. How do OPKs work? They work by detecting the LH surge. The LH surge precedes ovulation by about 24 to 36 hours. So by taking the ovulation predictor kit, you can detect that surge and then you know when to have intercourse. So it would be on the day of the surge and the following day. The first thing that's important to remember before tracking ovulation with ovulation predictor kits is that your cycles need to be regular. Regular cycles come every 21 to 35 days. If your cycles are falling in this interval, this is reassuring for ovulation. So you can go ahead and continue with trying to track it with ovulation predictor kits. If your cycles are falling outside this range, this means that ovulation is not predictably occurring. And actually we'd recommend seeing a fertility specialist to get further workup to determine what might be the cause for the ovulation dysfunction and how to appropriately treat it. I usually tell patients to check ovulation predictor kits daily during the fertile window until you see the LH surge. What is the fertile window? So if you take your cycle length and if you subtract 14, that is the approximate day of ovulation. And then if you subtract an additional six days, that interval, the six day interval preceding ovulation is the fertile window. So if you're tracking ovulation with ovulation predictor kits, you can use them daily during the fertile window until you see that LH surge. And then I would have intercourse on that day and the following day. Alternatively, if you are not wanting to use ovulation predictor kits, you can also have intercourse every one to two days during the fertile window. Sperm can live in the genital tract anywhere from two to five days, so having intercourse with this frequency during the fertile window should also be sufficient. The best time to use ovulation predictor kits during the fertile window is in the evening. Usually we say around 4 to 10 p.m. The reason is, is that the LH surge starts in the morning and it takes some time to get to the urine. And so that's why we want you to check it later in the day. I usually recommend name brand ovulation predictor kits opposed to generic. I just find them to be a little bit more accurate. If you're doing all the things that we talked about in this video and you're still unable to detect ovulation with ovulation predictor kits, I think this is the time to consider seeing a fertility specialist. There could be some subtle ovulation dysfunction occurring and they can do further workup to possibly identify a cause and then talk about treatment of that potential cause. That is it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I hope you'll give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below. If you have comments or questions, you can leave them for me there also. Thank you again so much for watching and see you in the next video.